Uh, if you haven't had a chance, come on over and find your seats, and we'll get the program uh, going here this morning as everybody's fired up about this. And it, it's an honor to welcome you today to this uh, groundbreaking ceremony for the new Athletes Village here at the University of Minnesota. Yeah, we can applaud that, I think. We have a number of speakers here, a great lineup, and everybody has some interesting and important things to say, so I want to move right into that if we can. And to kick things off, I would ask our Interim Director of Athletics to join us first to start everything today. Please welcome Beth Getz. Let me begin first just by th thanking all of you for being here today to help us celebrate what is going to be just such a special moment in Gopher Athletic history. You have all played an important role to this point in the Athletes Village project, some by advocating for our need for facilities and some by donating to the Nothing Short of Greatness campaign. I could really spend all morning thanking each and every one of you that are here today. But let me just take one second and acknowledge Coach Kill's efforts in getting this project to the point where it is. I couldn't be more grateful to Coach for making this possible. To all of you, however you have chosen to support us, please know I speak for everyone, all student athletes, all of our staff, and all of our coaches when I say thank you. Today's groundbreaking is a symbolic step forward in providing modern facilities for all of our Gopher student athletes. It will allow, allow all future Gophers the opportunity to achieve greatness in the classroom, in competition, and as future leaders of our community. As all of you know, we have tremendous competition venues on our campus, but the facility where our student athletes spend the majority of their time studying, practicing, and training are in dire needs of updates. This Athletes Village project will help address those needs, including building an expanded and upgraded academic facility, new leadership uh, centers and nutrition centers, as well as, as additional space for practice and training. The Athletes Village project will have a positive impact on each and every one of our student athletes and every single Gopher team. It took countless hours of work by numerous individuals to get us to this point. From my heart, I thank each and every one of you today and throughout the state of Minnesota for all of your support and making this vision a reality. Thank you, Beth. Uh, next up, we're going to be joined by a young woman from Eden Prairie who's a freshman on the Gopher soccer team. So I'd ask you to join me in welcoming April Bakken. Hi, um, I just want to say thank you for everyone for being here today and supporting the University of Minnesota and all Gopher student athletes. Um, as Dave said, I'm April Bakken and I'm from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. I'm a freshman on the women's soccer team here at the U and um, I'm planning to major in kinesiology. Um, it has always been a dream of mine to play Division I soccer and to be able to represent my home state on the soccer field is an amazing feeling. Um, this new athletes village is going to improve the experience of all Gopher athletes here at the U and um, present and future. Um, with a bigger academic center paired with um, a more space for student athlete development and a di student athlete dining hall, um, <laughs> these this will improve all the experience for all Gopher athletes. Um, I'm most looking forward to the um, to more space to interact with and collaborate with the other student athletes here at the U, as well as the amazing staff. So I wanted to say thank you to everyone here um, for supporting me and all my fellow Gopher athletes. And these new f I have enjoyed being a Gopher so far, and I love m representing Minnesota on the soccer field. These new facilities are only going to add to my already amazing experience here at the U. So thank you. Thanks, April. There won't be a tougher speech class in your next four years here, I can tell you that much. It's all easy from here on in. Uh, I, speaking of students that uh, once once attended here at the University of Minnesota, our next guest uh, certainly is a proud alumnus of this great university. So please welcome and, and a nice round of applause for the president of the university, Mr. Eric Kaler. Thank you, Dave. 
I'm pleased to be following April because this is, after all, the Athletes Village. And to me, it's a student athletes village, a place for our student athletes to train, to learn, and to eat, and to develop those leadership skills that represent the university so well in all that they and we do. Whenever I am around the state of Minnesota, I talk about the need for our university to have 21st century facilities, classrooms, laboratories, studios, theaters, and playing fields in order to prepare our state's 21st century leaders. This Athletes Village is absolutely part of that vision, and I believe it will become a gathering place for other students in the wider campus community as well. And it's just really gratifying to see this priority and a vision become reality today. So thank you all who made this possible. I do want to make special mention of an important collection of leaders whose hard work, diligence, and generosity has brought us to this day. First, our Board of Regents for supporting this plan, and I see some of my bosses, Chair Johnson and Regents Beeson, Broad, Devine, Shu, and Omari are with us here today. Chris Polashinsky and Lando Lakes, wow, thank you for your important partnership with the university in so many ways and for your commitment to excellence. Thank you. John and Nancy Lindahl, thank you for your friendship, your generosity, your leadership, and for just being you. Thank you so much. Lou Nanny, thank you for being here, for accepting the challenge of leading this fundraising uh, opportunity, and for your terrific uh, energy and your enthusiasm. Thank you so much. And to all of the other donors, my personal thanks and my thanks on behalf of the University of Minnesota for your investment in us. Nancy likes to clap. <laughs> And I have to make a special mention and thank you uh, to Dave Larson, <clears throat> the ultimate Gophers fan and supporter who would be beaming if he was here. But his wife, Janny, and his two sons are with us today. Janny, thank you, and Reed and Lance for your generosity and your engagement with us. And finally, as has already been mentioned, uh, Jerry and Rebecca Kill are here in spirit. Their energy and engagement has been very important to us as we move forward, and we all, of course, wish Jerry well uh, in his path uh, to regaining his health. Thank you all for being here, and as Dave Larson would say, go Gophers! Thank you, President Kaler. Uh, our next speaker, I think a lot of us got to know when he was working in the uh, Minnesota House of Representatives and the State Senate for, gosh, more than 25 years, I believe, Dean, if I'm not mistaken, before he was elected to the Board of Regents in 2007, where he now serves, as many of you know, as the Board's Chairman. So please join me in welcoming our Regent Chairman, Dean Johnson. Mr. President and Karen, Athletic Director Getz, honored guests, on behalf of my colleagues, the Board of Regents, who five of them are here today, and myself, we're deeply appreciative of your support for this facility and for the University of Minnesota and all that you have done. The question is, why are we here? Why are we here today? Well, we're here to break ground for a new facility for our athletic teams, our coaches, and the 725 student athletes who participate and compete at the Big Ten, the national level, but we're also here to honor our student athletes as they represent the great state of Minnesota. They work hard, they study hard, and they do in fact represent us. I was curious about this matter, and so I did a bit of research. What does it mean when a team moves to the national level of competition in the NCAA, or in the case of football, the case of hockey? When they move to that level, what does it do to the alumni and to donors? The answer is they open up their checkbooks. If you don't believe me, let me remind you of Northwestern and Wisconsin. When they went to the Rose Bowl, they increased their donations by 30% the next two to three years. Why? Because people like to be with a winner. And in order for us to have winners, we need to provide the facilities of training, nutrition, and academics for our students and for our coaches. 
We also know that it increases the number of applicants to the university when our teams are competitive. From both in-state and out-of-state, a bigger pool of application means better prepared students and ultimately an enhanced academic reputation for this university. Those are some of the reasons why we're here today in the matter of academics. And so this facility with a center of excellence will only ad advance the educational opportunities for our student athletes. Now for some brief acknowledgments. To our student athletes and behalf of all of us, President Kaler, the Board of Regents, we thank you for representing us. Beth Getz, thank you. And all of the head coaches and assistant coaches for everything that you have done and will do with this facility. Previously mentioned, Janny, Dave Larson was a true friend, a true friend to this university and to many of us. And let me conclude with this. I received a phone call this morning driving in. It was Coach Jerry Kill. I know maybe as a regent that I should not have the relationship that I do with a coach, but it just happened over a period of time. Jerry wanted to be here. He acknowledges the importance of this day, and he wished to extend his deep appreciation for all who are gathered. This advocacy started last year when Coach Kill and I and my wives were at the All-Star Game. I could just as well have left the baseball game because the entire time Jerry Kill was talking about this facility. <laughs> when are you regents gonna open your eyes and get this done? And I knew the passion and the commitment. He spent countless hours making speeches, raising money with many of you, with the president and others. So I think the legacy of this day and moving forward is yes for all the coaches and athletes who are here and will be here, but the legacy of this day, at least for me personally, is all the things that Coach Jerry Kill has done for this university. He has taught young men and yes, young women how to be responsible, how to pursue their degree, how to live life productively, and a life with respect and dignity. That's what he's done for this university. And now it's up to the rest of us to carry on that legacy in the name of Jerry Kill. And I thank you for being here. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, we have in our presence today a guy who has uh, taken a local company here and turned it really into a global uh, leader uh, uh, across the world and in feeding uh, people around the world. It's an incredible story if you ever get a chance to learn a little bit more about what Lando Lakes does. And I'd like to bring him up and speak. As you heard, he was acknowledged a few minutes ago. He's been with Lando Lakes since 1997, one of our most recognized brands here in the state of Minnesota, but certainly now across the world, as I mentioned. He's the company's president. He is the CEO since 2005, Chris Polozinski. Thank you, Dave, for that nice introduction. Uh, thank you, President Kaler and Regents for uh, having us here. Uh, just a couple of brief comments. Uh, really to say we are absolutely thrilled at Land Lakes to be here today because of what it symbolizes. Uh, it symbolizes progress on a priority that Eric, I know you and the university have had. Uh, it also symbolizes uh, progress on a priority we have at Land Lakes, uh, and that priority is related to access to the great students, the great faculty and staff you all here have at the University of Minnesota. Without talking too much about Land O'Lakes, uh, we are participating in what I think is the greatest growth industry of our era, food and agribusiness. We're going to have to double food production between now and 2050 because of a combination of growing global population and an emerging middle class in Africa and Asia. That is a grand challenge, to borrow one of President Gaylor's statements. But it's one that I know we can meet. Uh, the one thing we need 
to be able to successfully meet that talent is the best that challenge is the best talent in the world and i believe that's what's represented here on the university of minnesota's campus so we are thrilled with what this means to the university we are thrilled to be part of it at land lakes and to elevate our visibility uh, not just here in the athletes village uh, but across the campus and we really do appreciate the partnership thank you very much this is really an exciting exciting day for everybody thank you Chris is the kind of guy when I was going to a school that I would try to sit real close to, <laughs> particularly on test day. There are folks here that uh, I think, uh, if you don't know them, I, I would bet you know who they are when you see them, and they are great benefactors to this wonderful university and uh, a chance to know them for many, many years. And they've supported Gopher Athletics for a long time and the student development here at the University of Minnesota. So John and Nancy Lindahl, could I talk into coming up and speaking to everybody, please? Well, good morning. This is clearly a very, very emotional day for a lot of reasons, and uh, we just are honored to be here today. Thank you. Um, it's a pleasure to be here, represent all the generous donors who are really committed to seeing this magnificent project to fruition. We are also representing all those loyal gopher enthusiasts who we know will be contributing in the days and months ahead. Always fundraising. <laughs> we signed on early, really realizing that our university, our student athletes, and our coaches need this Athletes Village to train, to grow in character, to focus on education, to eat and to compete, all at the highest level. We care so deeply for the university that we don't want it to be second to anyone. We want this institution to be revered for its high academic standards and achievements, for its history of amazing research that has enriched our world, and for the incredible way our students are prepared to go out into the greater community once they graduate. At the same time, we don't want to go to another university in the Big Ten Conference, and we've been to many, or in any other conference for that matter, where the facilities are so much more superior than what we have to offer our student athletes. We are competitors, and we want to compete in all ways. Our pride in Minnesota and in Gopher Athletics has grown and grown over the years. We want the very best for all students at this fine university. Whether these students are competing on the field, on the gridiron, on the court, on the track, in the pool, or on the parallel bars, we want them to have an advantage. Yes, we really did sign on early. Uh, we committed because we feel it was the right thing to do for the university that we all love so much. And it's simply the right thing to do for all these remarkable student athletes, many of which are represented here today. And we have to give them the very best that we can offer. They are our future and our true northern stars. We will continue to support Gopher Athletics. Je John says that's why he's working, so I can keep giving. We, we feel blessed to be able to give back to a place that has given us so much in return. If you have not already committed, we ask you to consider pledging today. With everyone's help, the Athletes Village will greatly impact generations of students in the future. Nothing short of greatness. Go Gophers! Thank you, Nancy and John. I knew Nancy would be all right. I told John if he went too long, we'd be breaking for traffic and weather together on the 8th. So thank you for keeping it on time. Uh, we uh, come to our final speaker here. We have some more events we want you to stick around for. But I do want you to hear uh, probably one of the most recognized people in Minnesota sports history, really, and the chairman, frankly, of the Nothing Short of Greatness fundraising campaign and a friend, I think, to everybody that's here today in the Athletes Village Project in particular. Please welcome your good friend, Lou Nanny.
Thank you, David. Good morning. First off, I want to thank the Board of Regents, our terrific leadership, President Kaler, Beth Getz, and her staff, and led by uh, Randy Handel and Mike Halloran. The Golden Gopher staff does amazing things. I'm not sure you're aware of it, so I really want to make certain you are. And our leadership uh, council for their work and dedication to make today a reality. And I want to thank Jerry Kill and Rebecca for all that they've done as well. Now, if you were to ask any athlete what they want most when they're trying to make a team, I'm going to tell you to tell you just a fair chance to compete. I can't tell you how many times I sat in the locker room waiting to make a team or before a game, and all I would talk to myself about was just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Well, these new facilities are being built at the University of Minnesota, and they could be looked at as giving our athletes, our student athletes, a real chance to be successful. They will now put us on equal footing with the other facilities in the Big Ten, and they will be given, they will be given their proper chance to succeed, both academically and athletically. We've reached this point in the Nothing Short of Greatness campaign because a lot of people in both the private and public sectors, like we've just heard from Chris and John and Nancy, they've stepped up and answered the call. And they are going to make it possible for us to get these badly needed facilities. But getting to this point is a big accomplishment, but it's only the first step. We still got a lot of work to do to fully fund this project. I keep saying the University of Minnesota is the engine of the state. I want people to realize that it touches everybody. And we know how important intercollegiate athletics are to the university, and we need to make more people understand and help us achieve our goal in, in this project. Today is a new beginning for our student athletes and for our leadership committee to make all of the university fans and followers proud. But we still got a long ways to go. We need another 85 million. So we're asking our supporters at the university that have not committed yet and are in, posi in position to do so to please help us reach our goal. Thank you very much for coming. Go Gophers.